How are you? It's Diane Banks, voice actress and radio personality in Chicago. I've got over 283 videos waiting for you, so I hope you'll check some of them out, including my latest, Disney Pixar Incredibles 2, The Short Bow, which I've got all the scoops for you there. And please subscribe, click the red button. We're going to talk about some cool things today. I promise we'll get to your comments at the end of the video, uh, so hang for that. And then um, we've got some cool stuff from the Chinese designers at the Mickey Mouse Shanghai uh, fashion show. It actually wasn't just a Mickey fashion show, but they had some great inspirations I want to show you. Some really creative stuff. And then some things from the Mickey's Toontown uh, in California that they did another fashion show. Maybe not as outrageous, but still pretty cool. And you can actually buy some of the stuff that was in the show, which I'll give you the links for that too. So here is some of the super cool fashions. Oh yeah, there's Mickey first of all. He opened the segment of the show when they did the inspirations for uh, the Disney designs, which wouldn't that be cool to see Mick at the fashion show? I would love that. So lucky them in Shanghai, they got to do that. And then some nice close-ups on the fashions. and the design. I love this. I wish they had this available. That is super cool. Got some sketch Mickeys going and some other Mickeys and lots of fluff. And I love that. I think that's really pretty. Um, this is great too, isn't it? They're just really creative. And you'll see the ones that they did uh, here in the States. They're a little more, I want to say a little more conservative because you can buy some of them. But um, I just, I don't know, I love what they did here. And see the Mickeys? I guess they're sort of hidden Mickeys, aren't they, on her dress? Um, but this one, now what do you think? <laughs> Pretty outrageous. Is that supposed to be Baymax? Let me know in the comments what you think. I thought that's who that was supposed to be, but I don't know. I mean, as the inspiration for that piece, but pretty cool. Um, and this tune, I'm not sure. Who do you think was the inspiration? Which Disney characters for this one? I don't know. I'll let you tell me in the comments, because I don't know. <laughs> um, and this too, we've got some Mickey going on here, and there's Mickey's on the skirt. It looks something like, I don't know her name, uh, how to say her name, Cat Kitson or something like that. She's a British designer. That looks kind of like her work too, but I like the little bit of leopard. I bet there's some hidden Mickey's in there too. Love the shades on that too. And there's Mickey with a balloon. Now some of the outrageous ones are coming up here. Um, that one, you can barely see Mickey, but isn't that cool? It's kind of a silhouette there at the top. Um, and then there's, I don't know what's going on with the arms there. That's kind of neat. There's a Mickey there. She's got like a, I don't know, what are those? Like batons or something? Um, this one, I love that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I can't imagine wearing that down the street, but you know, for a fashion show, Super cool. She's got some Mickey feet there hanging off her bag. I'm sure there's tons of stuff if you took a longer time to look at that. And look, and even his tie, his bow tie inspired. Um, that's pretty cool, too. Uh, and I love this just because it's a, sort of outrageous, right? Isn't that cool? So neat. So I, I don't think there's too many more here. But there's the, uh, the ones from the Disney show in California. I wanted to show you those, too. That's pretty neat. Okay, so that's that, and then we move over to the California show, and like I said, you can buy some of this stuff, so I'll give you the links, and you can see the resemblance. Now, that, like I said, the things that you buy are not quite as out outrageous as what we see here, but like, for example, you could get the shirt from that, but that's still pretty cool to have some of that, and this one I think is actually one of the ones you can buy. Let's see, oh, maybe not. I, I think that was another one. Um, this one. That's pretty neat, right? And you can buy that one. Let's see how much they charge for that. 145. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's out of my budget. Maybe they'll have a sale. What do you think? Um, so I want to know what you think in the comments of these too. Uh, if you would actually buy any of these, that's kind of cool for the guys. They have like the the sweats in the top. I like that. And this one too. 145. And then some of the other jackets. That jacket's 275. Wow. No uh, no sale prices here, but then these are like designer things, probably very limited numbers of the things that they make. I love that. Look at her necklace. That's very cool. I don't think they're selling that, but I really like that. Um, and then there's like a shirt that's a take-off. There, we just saw that one. So if you wanted to buy that whole thing, it'd be 145 plus the top, which is this one, I think, which is another 100, 175 Woo! put that on your gift list. Somebody who really loves you might pick that up for you, right? And we don't usually see too many things for the guys. Uh, I love this too. I love her bag. 
Um, I don't think, like I said, I don't think they're doing a lot of the uh, bags and things, but they did do some of the, um, that's kind of neat. These I'm kind of going faster through because I think the ones in Shanghai, to be honest, were a little more creative. Although this is pretty cool. I love his shoes. Um, and then, the, again, these are some of the ones that are on here, like this. How much is that one? 75. That's more reasonable. Her top. You could pick that up for 75. And then the pants, I don't know, looks sort of like that one. I don't know. If, again, they don't have exactly there. But, hey, 75 bucks seems like a deal on that one. Um... And then that skirt, cute. Okay, goodness, how many are there of these? Oh wow, we got like a whole bunch here. Okay, so like I said, leave in the comments for me what you think. Would you buy any of this stuff? If yes or no, if you could afford, right? Assuming you could afford. Um, and then let me know, like in that Shanghai one too. Um, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I like those pants. And then there's that shirt we saw that's 75 bucks. Uh, let's see if there's anything else here. Whoop! I guess I kind of skipped ahead a little there. I liked her eye makeup on that one. Sorry, I'm kind of going fast. That's pretty cool. I like her makeup. Um, and she kind of has sort of a Mickey ear <laughs> kind of hairdo. But uh, yeah, I thought you might like these. These are pretty cool. Um, and, and like I said of that Shanghai one, let me know if you know what you think the influence might be on that one. But yeah, looking back at these, these are much more creative. But again, it's for you know, like a fashion week in Shanghai rather than something you would purchase from the Disney store. But just the fact that you can get some of these, kind of neat. So let me know what you think. We're going to hop to your comments here. I get a lot of comments every week on the Disney Frozen, uh, is it anti-male propaganda? Uh, according to Fox News, it is. And there's the thumbnail if you want to get in on this conversation. Project Ecu Hope says, I think feminism is being used as a wrecking ball to take down an unsustainable civilization so the new sustainable model can be built. It's politically motivated from high places in power. So lots of interesting comments like that. You can get in on the conversation. Also, uh, Edward Morris left an interesting comment. Hadn't seen the movie, but had some thoughts on it. So you can check that out, too. And like I said, get in on that conversation, because every week there's lots of good comments on that video. And then moving on to Disney Pixar, The Adorable Bow, that I hope you'll watch my video. Uh, Lauren's Life watched the video, and she says, So cute. I'm half Chinese, and I recently went to Taiwan for spring break, and two years ago I went to China. You are so lucky, Lauren. That is super cool. And thanks for watching my video. And she says, we ate a lot of soup dumplings. Yum! So I'm sure you'll be extra excited to see Bao and see that little baby dumpling come to life. Really cute. And then, let's see, for the same video, Clay Carmichael says, how cool. I can't wait to watch Bao. And I'm glad Pixar finally has a woman director for a short. Me too. Very excited about that. Um... Let's see, for my video, Disney Little Mermaid Easter Eggs. I hope you'll watch that too. Uh, Jory Duco, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong, but it uh, says Kermit is sitting below. So we'll have to look for Kermit in that uh, Easter egg video. And then uh, how about we wrap up with this one from Angel Tam. She watched my video about Mickey and Minnie when they got their major makeover. So hope you'll watch that video too. And she says, oh my God, I love the old Mickey best. They changed the new face. Um, so she didn't like the new Mickey faces. And, you know, I got to agree. I had a... Um, thing I was going to show you but I'm not sure where I put it right now but if you watch the video you'll see the difference in their faces and I think Minnie in particular her face looks a little bit squashed uh, in the new version so you can let me know what you think leave comments whether you think um, Mickey and Minnie's faces are better old or new and then just a quick hi to our friends at Instagram uh, watching my video about Disney Pixar Finding Dory are you the Gerald of your friend group go watch that video too if you haven't seen it love Gerald and I got some nice comments, including Disneyland Travel Secrets, Living Retreats, Lafayette Craft, all loving it. Thank you. Explore, Capture, Share says, Good day. I'm really glad you're freely sharing your great posts with people like me. I hope there'll be more to come. Awesome work. Till next time, PJ. That's so nice. And I'm assuming you're from Australia because you said good day. So hi to everybody in Australia from Chicago. And then here for the 
Pixar Bow, our little dumpling video. Uh, Monitor says, love your feed. So inspiring. Thank you very much. Great comments, you guys. And I hope you're loving my videos, too. Uh, even if you haven't left a comment yet. And then we'll wrap up with world's largest Mickey Mouse topiary, the Dubai Gardens. Are they better than Epcot? So go watch that one too. I've got, got a lot of videos, homework for you, but good fun homework. <laughs> anyway, Disney Vacation Days says, ooh, I like this photo a lot. Well, thanks again, you guys. Keep leaving your great comments. Please subscribe. Let me know what you think the inspiration for that was. And we'll talk soon. Take care. Have